previously on A Summer Adrift. The last time we left you, we were slowly exploring the Capitol Reef area with Peter, Shruthi, Carissa, and Lindbergh. Wow. As per usual, it was not long before we hit dirt again and needed to air down. Airing down is a technique used when driving on rough roads to make your ride a little bit smoother. Fully inflated tires can make obstacles in the road extremely harsh to drive on, especially over long distances. By removing air from your tires, you give yourself a cushier ride that's easier on you and your entire vehicle, all while giving you more grip on the terrain. Once again, the day was unbelievably hot and we all started to feel desperate for a way to cool off. We stumbled across a calm but shallow river that looked like the perfect place to take a dip. And then this happened. Got my glasses. Oh, I just felt it. <laughs> I'm sure this will come as no surprise, but Owen's glasses were never to be seen again. The group pressed on in search of camp for the night while keeping our eyes peeled for things that could pique our interest along the way. The details alone in these petroglyphs are something worth writing home about. Lindbergh brought to our attention that his drone had taken a bit of a tumble on the drive-in. Something tells me it might be broken. It's like a... Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I'm so sorry. Okay, we just got to camp, and this camp spot is incredible. All right, check it out. Throughout this series, we'll be sharing incredibly beautiful places like this one, but we won't always be calling them out by name. Allow me to explain. We put a lot of work into finding the places that we camp at every night, and it's taken us years to perfect our craft. The effort that we put into finding these places has instilled a sense of responsibility in us to take care of them. We believe it's a valuable skill that others should take the time to learn for themselves in hopes that they too will go on to value these natural wonders. All too often, we come across an area such as this one that was once unpopulated and unblemished only to find them littered with trash from previous visitors. It's all of our responsibility to take care of these rugged but fragile places. Before long, the group settled into our regular camp routines.
As the light dwindled, Lindbergh served up a delicious dinner and Mother Nature treated us to a delightful sunset. As per usual, we woke up to watch and photograph the sunrise. When we're in places like this, we can't resist the opportunity to see the first light of day march down the canyon walls. Luna is usually the first one at the door in the morning waiting to go outside. She loves tracing the perimeter of camp and feeling like she's the queen of the world from her high vantage point. circles yeah <laughs> we are hiking down from our campsite which is up above us and just going down to see what we can see the trail was only able to take us as far as the plateau below our camp even though the trail ended up being shorter than we had expected it gave us a new deeper view into the canyon and the river below. As professional automotive photographers, Carissa and Lindbergh's work was starting to pick back up and calling them back home to California. Sadly, the time had come for us to say goodbye. So good to finally meet yeah. you. As heartbroken as we were to see them leave, we were happy that in these hard times they had work coming in. When our lives became entangled back in March, we couldn't have imagined that we were starting a journey through a global pandemic, two months of sheltering in place, and getting back on the road together. All after having just met once previously. Their leaving marks the end of a chapter that we know that we'll look back on fondly for the rest of our lives. Carissa and Lindbergh, you are the best thing that has happened to us this year. We love you and we'll always be looking for you in our rearview mirror.